Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. I am so glad I could be here with you today for our resistance band class, our new band, a uh, new exact exercise class on the schedule. It's been great to see so many new faces joining us. So I'm so happy we could be here together today. Now, if you have a loop band, make sure you've got it. If you have one of these, make sure you've got it. If you don't have one of them, make sure you have a different um, access to them as you leave them next to you so that you can switch them out if you need to. Um, well, I'm assuming we all have one of these. If you don't have one of these, that's no big deal. We can change the um, lengthened band into a loop band throughout our workout today. So you will need um, a little different variety of bands. If you don't have that for right now, that's okay. Um, maybe something to consider in the future. So. We are gonna be working through some supersets today. We are gonna be working through efforts, three rounds. So we're gonna go through an effort, we're gonna take a little break, we're gonna go through it again, we're gonna take a little break, and then we're gonna go through it again. Once we go through our three efforts, we're gonna move on to the next set of exercises and repeat exactly what we just did with some different efforts. Make sure you modify if you need to, make sure you adjust anything or, you know, Make whatever modifications you need to honor your body that you showed up with on the mat today. We're going to go ahead and get right into our warm up today. Make sure you've got your water nearby and, of course, a smile on your face. Let's start off with our marches. So, we're going to start off with some body weight warm up about about eight to nine minutes or so of our warm up, just getting ourselves prepped and ready to go. So we're going to be running through our circuit, then we're going to come down, we're going to do some core, and then we're going to finish off with a really nice stretch today. We're going to be using the bands for most of everything we do today. Maybe with the stretching, we'll use just a bit more of our body weight, but we will use the bands for a little bit of a hamstring stretch at the end. Nice job. Let's stay here for another 20 more seconds. Let's get those arms nice and moving, knees up towards that belly button. Really nice and steady here. Remember the warm up is just to get us ready. It's not to start creating a really breathless effort. It's just to get our mind, body, and breath prepped and ready to go. All right, in five, we're gonna land our feet. In four, three, two, one. Land those feet, beautiful. Let's take those arms, open them, shoulder height. We're gonna open to the side back through center. Nice and steady. Good job. A little chest opener here with a little lateral movement. Nice job. Fantastic. Take those nice wide steps, open up through the heart. Beautiful. Excellent. Beautiful. Nice and steady. Now, as you go through your warm up today, you're going to feel that transition of breathing. It's going to start changing from nose breathing to mouth breathing. That's what we're aiming for. Not aiming to be breathless here. Nice job. Fantastic. Give me 10 more seconds. We're going to continue with our lateral movement. So I just want to give your arms a break in five, four, three. Continue moving your legs. Two, one. Nice job, keep your hands here, beautiful. Nice job. Now, we're gonna go into a little lateral movement. We're gonna give it a little reach. If you don't wanna do that up and down movement, that's okay. Continue here with your side steps. There's a slight rotation through the pelvis, slight rotation through the upper body as we're gonna go into our reaches towards the floor. You don't have to touch the floor, remember. Five, four, three, two, one, here we go. We're going to start our reaches. Beautiful, nice and steady. We're going to keep that back nice and long. Abs slightly drawn in. <sighs> keep that breath nice and fluid. So we're having a bit of room around us is important so that we're safe. Nice. <sighs> Beautiful. Well done. <sighs> You've got it. Excellent. 10 more seconds here. Whoop. Looked at myself and lost my balance. Good job. Five, four, three, two, 
one, march it out. Nice job. <laughs> Fantastic. Maybe you start to feel that heat building. Breath is starting to change. You can hear a little bit of that changing in my breath. Fantastic. All right. We're going to take it to a reach back, a little hip opener, and an arm extension. So let's go ahead and land our feet. We're going to bend in through our knees, kick back through our hips. Back is nice and long, abs are slightly pulled in. Reach with the right arm up and then back. Now I want you to think a little bit more of extending the body. Take it nice and steady and slow here. Opening up the hip, opening up the shoulder. Good. Beautiful. Now we're going to double time it in about 10 seconds. We're going to pick up that pace just a little bit. Again, just to build a little bit more heat. In five, four, you go at your own pace. Two, one, here we go. Double time it for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. You got it. Two, and one, march it out. Nice job, fantastic. All right, we're gonna do that exact same thing on the other side. Let's do it. Land those feet, left arm, left leg. Here we go. Nice and steady. So my right knee is not extending. It's staying in a bent position the whole time. So you're in a semi-squat position here. So you've got a lot of work going on in the glute and the hamstrings and the quads. We're going to double time this in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Double time. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. March it out. Woo! Fantastic. Nice job. All right. Stay here with me for 20 seconds. Move those arms. Bend those knees. Nice job. Just a little reset here. We're going to be going to some squats next. Body weight only. Beautiful. In eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Line those feet, maybe hip distance apart or slightly wider. Feet are facing forward. Hinge from the hips, knees behind the toes. Here we go. Beautiful. So really starting to notice a bit of that heat building. I could feel a little bit of that sweat starting to trickle through. If you're feeling out of breath here, I want you to slow things down a little bit. Remember, we're not going there right now. We're likely not going to go there throughout our workout as we're not going to be doing too much cardio, but more strength today. So just keep that breath really nice and controlled here. 10 seconds left and no squats. Such a functional movement this. Five, four, you got it. Three, two, and one. Nice job, march it out. Well done. Woo, fantastic. All right, next. We're gonna take it into a wide-legged toe touch. If you don't wanna do that lower and lift, again, if it doesn't work for you, it's no big deal. Some people, especially if we're just waking up in the morning, might not be ideal. So you're gonna do a modified reach towards the floor without that lowering of the head below the heart. So let's go ahead and land our feet. This time we're gonna open up nice and wide. So option number one is you're gonna reach back through center, reach back through center. Arms are gonna stay wide. Option number two, you're gonna reach and lift, reach and lift, all right? Three, two, one, here we go. Beautiful. If you don't quite touch those toes, that's okay. Just aim in that general direction. Remember when I was teaching indoor cycling, I'd always tell my riders, 
aim in the direction that you want to go. Focus on that end point. Just draw that awareness there. Beautiful. Stay with me here for 10, 9, 8. We're going to keep our feet wide. Four, three, two, one. Come on up. Beautiful. Rest those arms. Take that right leg, slightly externally rotate it so that the toes are aiming to the corner of your mat. You're going to hinge from the hips, side lunge. Back up through center. Turn that left leg out. Side lunge on the other side. Back through center. Nice job. Alternate sides. Think of more of this as being a stretch on the inner thigh. Back is long. Hips are pressing back, knees behind the toes. Nice job. You've got it. Fantastic. Last five. Four. You're there. Two. And one. Nice job. March it out. Well done. Fantastic. All right. I hope you're feeling a little warmer. I know I am. We're going to slowly stop those feet from moving and grab our bands. So grab some water before. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab a regular lengthened band without the loop. And we're going to go into some band squats. So we prepped our body with our warm up with some squats. Now we're going to add a little resistance to the band or to the body sorry and we're going to add a little pulsing for the last 10 seconds of the squat so i washed these bands a couple days ago and they're a little sticky now <laughs> i think they dried in a in a stuck together position so all right we're going to take the band and set it underneath the feet First one you're going to do, you're going to want to figure out the resistance. Remember, your legs are really strong, so maybe you go in a little tighter. If you have a band with uh, handles, you're likely going to need to kind of switch that resistance or the grip of the band onto the tubing if you are using tube um, two bands right now. So you'll notice if I bend down into my squat, this becomes loose. So from here, I'm going to tighten my band and I'm going to hold my band with my wrist nice and neutral here. Hips are kicked back and then I'm going to press up from here. Shoulders are pulling down. We're not rounding and we're not popping. Nice and neutral. Here we go. Three, two, one. Lower and lift. Nice job. Let me just show you a little side view here. Beautiful. 15 seconds in. The last 10, we're going to go into some pulses. If you don't want to do the pulses, avoid them. Just continue with some squats. Nice job. Nice and steady pace here. Beautiful. Five seconds left. We're going to take it into some pulses. Three, two, one. Lower down. Pulse. Good. Seven, six, five four, three, two, one, and rest. Nice job. Take that band from under the feet, release it. Well done. All right, next effort in this superset, we're going to do some pull downs. Weight band is in the arms. I've got it hooked on with my thumbs. Wrists are nice and neutral. We're going to open right in front, nice and long through the arms, and then back up. Down, and then up. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Now, the last 10 seconds on this one, we're going to do some little pulses at the top. I'm going to really fire up those shoulders. Nice job. Great. Fantastic. Now, remember, if the band feels too loose, tighten the resistance on it. As you're opening up, bring some awareness to the underarms. Pull down into the underarms. Gonna get those lats really fired up. All right, in three, two, one. Bring it up with some resistance. Pulse. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 
one and rest. Nice job. Fantastic. All right. So we are going to do those exact same exercises two more times. We're going to be going into them with a little 15 second recovery in between the efforts. And then we're really going to get through all three, all three sets in total. So go ahead. Let's get back into those pulse, those plank, uh, squats. Whew, I got exercise on my mind. All right. Three, two, one, let's go. So I've got a light pulling in of the core just to keep everything nice and stable, not tucking under the tail or anything like that. Coming right up to that standing position. Shoulders are square. I pull my shoulder back slightly just to bring that awareness so I'm being careful not to round in my upper body. Nice job. Five more seconds. We're going to go into those pulses. If you want to take them, leave them if you don't. Three, two, one, down. Little pulses. I'm in a half squat here. Five, four, three, two, and one, and release. Nice job. Release those feet. Take your bend. Nice job. Going back in, pull downs, working the lats here, working the shoulders. Arms overhead. Three, two, one. Here we go. Nice job. Beautiful. Excellent. Nice and strong through the arms. Excellent job. Well done. Great. 10 more seconds here. We're going to take it back into those pulses. I want resistance on that band. In three, two, you got it. One, lift it up, pulse. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, five four three two and one nice job Woo! well done i love the pulses they just kind of fire everything up just that little bit more all right we got one more superset of our squats and our pull downs then we're going to move on to something different grab some water get yourself ready and then we're going to start back up in 10 seconds so getting back into it squat position Make sure you make adjustments as you come into your last round here. Maybe tighten it up a little bit more. Here we go. Three, two, one, and down. I always encourage everyone to think about making modifications to challenge yourself, especially as we get through that first learning phase, that first initial exposure to what we're going to do. You have opportunities to change things up doesn't always have to be adding resistance. It could just be bringing some more awareness to your breathing. Just being present, just being here. All right, three, get ready. Two, one, here, pulse it out. So one of these things, maybe if you didn't do pulses, this is the one you do it on. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Nice job. Take those feet from underneath that band. Well done. All right. Arms are going to come up overhead. Tighten up that band. Upper body relaxes. Three, two, one. Press it down. So when I say upper body relaxes, want to keep those shoulders away from the ears. Press down. Separating this band here. Beautiful. Nice. Great work for the back. Excellent. All right, we're going to go into our pulses in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Lift and pulse. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one one and rest those arms fantastic excellent job all right that was set number one we're going to move on to set number two we've got some isometric lunges with some front raises here so make sure you have a band that feels accessible for a front raise so i'm going to start off with my left foot in the band and my right foot back so this band has a little bit of give in it so i do have some room 
to um, if the band is too heavy it's gonna feel really really restrictive we're gonna take one arm it's gonna stay in an isometric hold we're gonna find our lunge position the right arm is gonna lower and lift so we're just gonna lower and lift here in this isometric lunge here here we go three two one let's do it working the anterior side of the shoulder keep your pelvis nice and neutral knee stacked right on top of that ankle if your balance is throwing off a little bit that's okay take a moment to just settle yourself in beautiful find a focal point that's ideally not me so now that you know what you got to do hold it here good almost there 10 9 8 7 6 five four three two and one nice job relax beautiful now if that isometric hold feels like it's too much for you today then i want you to let that go let the arm rest and just do that other arm with that lower and lift maybe on the last round that's where you add a little bit of that spice all right right foot in left foot back make sure you get into that right space for your lunge neutral spine nice and tall this time right arm is going to be extended left arm is going to lower and lift three two one here we go you'll notice i hold i'm holding my band like a coffee cup i am really trying hard to make sure i'm not rotating and then i'm staying really nice and neutral here nice job beautiful 15 in 30 to go take it one at a time good beautiful excellent 15 to go stay with me Woo! good just that isometric hold alone we got some serious work going on here 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 two and one nice job Woo! i felt my arm slowly making its way down for that last five seconds all right give your arms a little break take a little water break we're going back into it on the other side so let's get ready for that remember isometric cold feels too much hold it in that's all right maybe you start for 10 seconds take a break for 10 you go back in for 10 you take a break for 10 Alrighty, this time left foot forward, right foot back, back into that isometric lunge. All right, so this time left arm is going to be forward like a coffee cup, right arm is going to lower and lift, bend into that front knee. Here we go. So I'd be amiss to say that one side feels a little easier than the other. I'm right handed, so I definitely have a little bit more strength in my right arm especially because it's my primary kind of side that i tend to favor <sighs> breathe in breathe out don't strain through the neck or the jaw stay with me here you've got this 15 seconds my arm keeps wanting to pull back that's what's so great about resistance bands is you're really constantly always working good five four come on stay with me three two one and rest nice job Woo. <laughs> oh great job so proud of us <laughs> all right next we're gonna take that right foot forward left foot back i know i know right arm is gonna hold that isometric hold left arm is gonna lift and lower all right nice and steady here we go three two one let's do it remember you control the tension in the band it's another thing i like about the bands is we really have so many options that can be easily modified you want it a little harder you can add a little more tension you want it a little easier you can release a little tension it's all up to you and how you want to take this good beautiful 15 seconds left i need you to hold on here i'm feeling it too 10 9 8 
seven, come on, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Woo. Nice job. Woo. All right. Let's shake that off. Guess what? We got one more round of these, and then we're going to kind of let those go. So we're almost there. <laughs> we're like, whoo, thank goodness we don't have to do any more of these. <laughs> All right. Great job. So we are going to go into our last round, starting with our left foot forward, right foot back, right arm lowers and lifts, left arm isometric hold. Find that length, uh, that lunge position. Remember, decide to loosen or tighten that band, depending on what feels best for you. All right, here we go. Left arm reaches. Three, two, one. Here we go. Beautiful. So if you're in Monday's class, we did a little isometric work with those bicep curls with that 90 degree hold. That was really quite something that really got the muscle really fired up. Isometric holds, we're not changing the length of the muscle. It is holding onto strength endurance, really getting that muscle nice and strong. Good, beautiful, beautiful, almost there. 10, nine, eight, seven, you're almost there. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Woo, nice job. Ha. All right, those shoulders, whoa, talk about getting them strong. We got 45 seconds left on this last one. All right, so unless, if you're really fatigued, take that break. Maybe take in 10 seconds, go back into it, take another 10 seconds, even do five seconds at a time, especially if that arm is feeling a little fatigued on the right, on the uh, isometric hold. All right, here we go. Last one in this set, knee on top of ankle, right arm extends, three, two, one, here we go. You got it. Beautiful. That's it. You got it. 15 seconds. Come on. I just took a little break there. That felt good. Got me right back into it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Nice job. Oh, let's shake that out. <laughs> well done. Oh, my goodness. That was crazy. Really worked the front of the shoulder. Excellent job, everyone. Thank you so much. Well done. All right. Next, we are going to use our loop band next. So if you don't have a loop band, you're going to want to take actually this band and loop it so that you can place the band right above the knee. If uh, So you might want to just play around with the band. I like to double loop it or single loop it single loop it just because you want to take it off shortly if you only have one of these and you don't have the other band available. Make sure you're safe when you're getting these on. Get near a wall. Now today we're going to take it above the knee. Remember we never put any sort of band on a joint. It's way too intense and too much force on the knee joint. So just be careful you're avoiding ankles, knees, any elbows, things like that. We don't want to put any resistance on there. Now, when I said to you earlier, you're going to need a loop band and you're going to need one of these bands. This is for this exercise. Now, given the upper body we just did, if you want to take a little break from the upper body, go ahead and please do so. I'm going to give you the option to choose. We're going to be doing a band walk. As we go into our band walks, we're going to open and close. Open and close open and close, open and close. This is gonna work a bit of the posterior side of the shoulder, balance it out with what we just did on that last round. You choose if that works for you. All right, let's go. We're gonna bend into a squat position. I'm gonna take two steps to the right, two steps to the left. If you have more space in your room, 
go further. Just make sure you come back before the end, all right? Make sure you do equal number of steps. Shoulders are pulled back, knees are bent. Open and close. Open and close. You'll notice my feet are facing forward. I'm trying not to make sure, I'm trying to make sure that my leading leg doesn't externally rotate, keeping everything nicely aligned. Beautiful, excellent job. You got it, well done. Beautiful. Excellent job. Now, if you want to do upper body and you only have one band and you're doing the upper body work, you can still do these walks here. You're still in that squat position. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Woo! Beautiful. All right, we're going to take that little band, loop band, off our feet. Let's set that to the side. We're gonna get back to it in a moment. So next, we're gonna do a little bicep work. We're gonna take our feet, set it underneath our band. So if you've got an untire band, go ahead and do so. If you've got an extra one, grab that as your backup. All right, holding it like a coffee cup, feet are gonna come behind underneath the band, on top of the band, sorry. <sighs> We're gonna hold our band like a coffee cup. So this is one of those efforts, if you have a looped, not a loop band, but a tube, a tube band with some handles, this is great to have, use the handle one. So as long as you make sure that you've resisted, you have enough resistance underneath you. Pull the shoulder blades back and down, pull up through the abs, three, two, one, hammer curl. <sighs> nice job. Great. Elbows tuck in. Now, if you need a little break, you can alternate sides. Alternate. Give one arm a little break while the other arm is working. So if you want that, please take it. There's always that as an option. Beautiful. That's it. You got it. Well done. Woo! Excellent. Three, two, and one. Nice job. Release that band. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and take some water. We're going to get right into our second round of band walks. So grab what you need. You can go ahead and get yourself set up. It does take a few extra minutes to get ourselves settled and kind of set up with these efforts. I recognize that, but totally worth it, right? All right, so let's go ahead, bring that band. And maybe even next round, if you wanted to keep the band on, you could. Just add a little resistance to the legs, why not? In my newsletter, I put in some uh, fabric bands. I have them upstairs, I use them. They're fantastic. They really do not pinch on the skin. They're quite nice. So if these are not working for you, consider getting a set of the fabric bands. A little more expensive, but worth it. All right, arms are gonna outstretch. Come back into that squat position, knees behind toes. I'm gonna take two steps to the right, two steps to the left as I open and close my arms. Here we go. <sighs> So a couple of pointers here, shoulders stay away from the ears, hips stay back. Many times I've caught myself doing band walks, I start in a squat and I end standing, <laughs> just like that. So we're going to stay in that squat the whole is the time, really getting those glutes nice and fired up. Beautiful. Nice job. Stay with me. 12 seconds to go. Woo! Drop those shoulders down. You've got it. Good. Working tries here. Working shoulders. Three, two, and one. Nice job. Woo! Fantastic. I'm actually going to leave my band on. It's not really going to impede much uh, of me putting the other band underneath my feet. If you want to grab it, you can. 
take it off, you can. If you want to keep it where it is, you can. All right, set those feet on top of the band. Shoulders pull back and down. You're going to hold that band with a coffee cup hold. Here we go. Three, two, one. Bicep curls. Beautiful. Just be careful with that form. Try not to lock into the knees. Beautiful. Shoulders are square. Keep that breath nice and fluid. Great. So we've been doing, I think we've done maybe two to three weeks of these classes so far. Because I think right before we I left on holiday, I did one. And I have to tell you, the next day I was like, gosh, really felt some serious muscle activation the next day. Three, two, one. Nice job. In a good way. So it felt like I had worked the muscle. Just a different challenge to dumbbells. So not that they're any better or worse, just different to dumbbells. So last round. We're done. We got one more round of these, then we're gonna take it down to the floor for some core work. So you're gonna bring that band. If you can, keep your band on so that, unless you need to take it, so you need to use it for your bicep curls. So if that's the case, don't stress about it. But we are gonna use this band for our next little bit of core work. So that way it kind of saves you a little bit of time. All right, let's get right into it. Band above the knee. Last round, maybe you go in a little tighter, maybe you go in a little deeper. Three, two, one, here we go. Maybe you simply focus on your breathing. Nice job, excellent. You got it. Awesome, we're 25 seconds in, 20 to go. Make sure those wrists are nice and neutral. Shoulders pull back. Excellent, last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, fantastic, well done. Ooh, shake those arms out, well done. I'm gonna grab a little sip of water. Alrighty. Okay, excellent job. Let's go ahead, bring that band underneath the feet. Last round of bicep curls. Feet face forward. Back and body is long and tall. Hold your band like a coffee cup. Three, two, one, here we go. Nice job. Beautiful. Excellent. We got ten, nine. Home stretch here. Five, four. You've got it. Three, two and one excellent job everyone thank you so much that was absolutely amazing so proud of you we got through quite a lot of exercises there on those rounds so thank you so much now we're going to take it down to the floor for some core work i still have my band on i'm going to keep it on because we're going to need it for the next little bit of effort so when you're ready make your way down to the floor we're going to start off with some crunches so i'm just going to take my camera Bring it down slightly to the floor. Nice job. All right, so as we make our way down to the floor, remember, take a break when you need it. So I'm gonna take my band down a little bit, but what I'm not gonna do is bring it onto my ankle. I'm just bringing it right above the ankle. It feels really supportive on my shin area. We're gonna come down to the floor. Now, there's two options. Legs can be extended up to the 
with a slight bend of the knee. Knees can be bent if that feels better for your body. You choose. As you extend your legs, if you are going to go up, try to keep those feet flexed so you get the back of the body nice and fired up. We're going to do some crunches here. So hands behind the head. Legs extend either to the sky or bent at 90 degrees. If you're at 90 degrees or whether your legs are extended, hip, knee, and ankle are aligned. Hands behind the head. Extend the back of the neck. Three, two, one, and lift. Now make sure that low back is not pressing down into the floor as you're lifting. You want to have that neutral spine. You want to have your natural curve in your low back as much as you can so that you're not tilting your pelvis down. Beautiful. Nice job. Excellent. Stay here. 15 seconds. Make sure to exhale as you lift. Inhale to lower. Got a little pressure in that band, so don't let go of that. You can work in a bit of the lateral muscles in the legs here and a bit more of that glute. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Bend the knees. Set the feet down. Excellent. Well done. Whoo. All right. Next, give those knees a little break. Let's go into a little bit of some rotations here or some alternating shoulder to thigh. So we're going to keep the feet flat. We still got the band around our shins. Inhale, lengthen the back of the neck. Exhale, rotate right to left, back through center, left to right, back through center. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Just a couple of notes here. Try not to tuck your chin into the chest. Leave your chin lifted. Also, try to keep your legs from swaying to kind of counterbalance here. We want to keep those obliques doing all the work here. You also want to keep that sacrum down and plant it to the ground. <sighs> Beautiful. Great job. We're almost there. <sighs> Excellent. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two and one nice job set yourself back through center excellent job all right we're going to go ahead and we're going to take our hands now i like to set my sacrum on top of my hands so i lift my pelvis a little bit for these lower and lifts that just helps really stabilize my core as i'm going to lift my legs to the sky and i'm going to lower them down now i'm going to get about midway through and then exhale, lift back up. You can do the same effort with your knees bent. Lower halfway, exhale, lift. Now this hand placement just prevents your pelvis from tilting and you using your back here. Want some really good core engagement? So if you don't wanna put your hands here, you can always put a pillow or a little bit of a blanket underneath your sacrum. All right, here we go. Lift the legs, stack them, hips, ankles, and knees. Lower on the inhale, Exhale, lift back up. Try not to tension through the upper body. Take it nice and slow and steady. We're working that deep abdominal muscle, the TA, the transverse abdominus, as well as the rectus abdominus. The more concentration you get, more focused you can keep on working the core. That mindfulness is really key and essential to us being safe, right? Because we're aware of our bodies and what they're doing. Good. We got about eight seconds left. Beautiful. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Bend your knees. Set your feet down to the floor. Woo! Give yourself a little break there. Well done. Excellent. All right. Next, we're going to take our bands and we're going to take them above the knee and we're going to go into some bicycles so the first one we did with those rotations we were lying down feet were kind of in that static hold you can go back to that if that feels better for your body today especially if you're dealing with some low back issues and you're not feeling like you've got that stability in the core today you can always keep your feet down on the floor otherwise bring your legs up you've got that band above the knees we're gonna take the hands, set them underneath the crown. Inhale, lift the head, and then pull that neck away from the shoulders. Exhale, rotate, back through center, rotate, back through center. 
Good. Exhale as you rotate. Inhale through center. Beautiful. Just got nice, steady, slow pace here. I'm not rushing. Good. Pull that knee in. Beautiful. Oh, I'm sorry. Siri wanted to come to the party. <laughs> Sometimes she talks to me in class. Good. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Woo! Fantastic. Excellent. All right. We've got two more efforts to do for core. Let's go ahead and we're going to rotate onto our tummy. Take your band off. Now, if you have a loop band, we can use it for our plank. If you don't have a loop band, that's okay. You can, if you want to, use your, um, your, your rope band. Kind of making that up a little bit because you're just your regular resistance band. Um, and you are just going to place the band right between the hands here if you want to. So you're going to add a little bit of challenge to the shoulders, but you don't have to use this if you don't want to. You can go right into a regular plank without the band, especially if you're doing forearm plank, you're not going to want to use this. So you can choose to do a push-up plank. So feet are going to be extended. You've got the band underneath the hands. Legs are going to extend, and that's going to be your push-up plank. If you're doing kneeling planks, you can go ahead, drop the knees, back is long, you'll notice my knees are kind of reaching back. So you choose what type of plank you want to do. You want to do a forearm plank, bring those forearms down to the floor, stack them on top of your, your elbows and your shoulders. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, curl the toes, lift up, press the heels. Now, if you're in a push-up plank or if you're in a forearm plank, I want you to lift that sternum as to the sky. I want you to flatten out the back of the upper body. Press back through the heels. Really find that kind of flattening of the upper body. Shoulder blades are not winging. Really important to keep your shoulders stable here. Breathe. Beautiful. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Set your knee down. Press back onto your heels. Nice job. Woo. Well done. All right. The next one we're going to do is a little bit of extension. Now, I'm going to add a little bit of extension with a side bend. This may be great for you. This may not. I'm going to let you decide for yourself what works best for you. So coming onto your tummy, we're going to be going into a locust pose. So feet are going to be hip distance apart. On the tummy, gaze is down to the floor. Arms are going to outstretch back behind you. Gaze is down. We're going to roll the shoulder blades back down. I've got my hands kind of hovering right above the ground here. Now, you have an option. Option number one is to lift and lower, just strengthening the back of the spine. So core doesn't just include the front of the body. Although a lot of us kind of focus on that part, we also have to strengthen the back of our body. So you can lower and lift. That's option number one. Option number two is to lift, and then we're going to tilt over to the side, back through center, tilt to the other side, back through center. Alternating side bends here, getting the obliques really nice and fired up. You're going to choose which one works best for you. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead, make our way down to the floor, face down towards the floor, roll the shoulder blades back and down. Very important to energize through the back of the body. Inhale to lift, and then go ahead, choose either you're lowering and lifting or you're side bending, working those obliques and breathing all the way through. Now, if you've ever done heel touches with me, which I have taught in class. This is kind of a different version to heel touches. We're on our tummy rather than our back. Nice job. Keep the shoulder blades back. Try not to tension through the upper body. This is a nice way to strengthen that QL as well. 
If you're lowering lifting, I want you to lift on your inhale, exhale as you lower. Nice job. We've got about 12 seconds left here. <sighs> nice job. Beautiful. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Woo, we did it. All right, stack the hands, rest the forehead on top of the hands. Woo, relax the shoulders. Shift your pelvis side to side, kind of loosening up to that low back, through the back of the neck. We did it, guys. Well done. Woo. Beautiful. Great. Now let's go ahead and slide our hands to the side, and let's come into child's pose. Just to open up a little bit through the hips, knees together, uh, sorry, a big toes together, knees wide. Press back onto your heels. Give the back of your shoulders, the low back, your hips a little stretch. If bringing your forehead down feels accessible, go ahead and do so. You can always stack your fists to create a little tower and rest your forehead there. So if coming down into child's pose feels like it's straining the neck, just modify and raise the floor to meet your body. Great job. Take a couple of more deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Great job. Now let's go ahead and lift our forehead two or three inches off the floor. I always like to do a little side bend since we're here. Walk your hands over to the left. Press back through that right hip, taking that right arm a little north of the left. Terrific. Walk your hands through center, over to the right side, taking the left hand north of the right, pressing back onto that left hip towards the heels. Such a delicious stretch here. Beautiful. All right, let's make it our way back through center. Let's go ahead and shift our weight onto all fours, and we're going to take ourselves back onto our back into our supine position. So I mentioned earlier, we're gonna do a little hamstring stretch here. So go ahead and grab your band. I'm gonna take my shoes off. Uh, grab your band and we're gonna set the band underneath the feet and we're gonna reach the feet up towards the sky. So feet, I like to bring my feet together. Now what I don't want you to do is strain through the upper body. So if you're straining to pull the band, try not to do that. Try to just let your legs go wherever they feel they can. Flexing through the feet is gonna fire up the back of those legs. So just bring those legs as long as you can. Set your sacrum down. Just take a couple of nice big breaths here just to really kind of settle into it. Nice thing about lengthening the body is as we kind of get ourselves settled in, we tend to find like we find that we have a bit of room. There is some room to kind of go in a little deeper, but you don't want to go in too hard too fast because that can really wreak some havoc in the body. Excellent. Now from here, let's go ahead and release our left foot long if that feels comfortable. We're gonna do a little IT band stretch here. So take your band into your left hand, right arm is gonna extend. Now please, as much as possible, try to keep your hip, ball of your hip joint nice and firmly grounded into the socket. Then bring that leg over through your midline. I got unfortunately the wall in my way, so I'll take a little. <laughs> So we're not necessarily going to make it down to the ground. We're just going to give that hip and that IT band a nice little stretch. Also gives the piriformis a little stretch too, a muscle that is often overused and understretched. If your foot tends to want to sickle inward, neutral, bring it to neutral. 
and you also want to bring your hip with you so we're not trying to drag that right hip down to the floor we want to almost try to bring it so that your the whole hip area the whole pelvic area is rotating towards the left oh my bodyguards are barking upstairs <laughs> All right, slowly make your way back through center. Reset. Good. Take that left foot in. Release the right foot long. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Extend that right leg. Grab hold of the strap in the right hand. And again, firmly plant that hip bone into its socket and then rotate towards the right. Now here, you don't want to trick your body into thinking, oh, I'm going so deep into this rotation because you're lifting the shoulder. You want to keep the shoulders grounded to the earth. You're going to get a little upper thoracic rotation. You're going to really get that piriformis, that IT band, nice and lengthened here. Sometimes we rotate, we bring that shoulder with us, and we're kind of like, tricking our body into thinking we're doing a big rotation we're not really giving the muscles that are intended to stretch here the opportunity to fully lengthen here now this may feel really intense for some so make sure you modify maybe lift your leg up if it's feeling too much or come back a little bit Great, slowly make your way back through center. And go ahead and release both feet. Set the band to the side, bring your feet as wide as your mat, and let's just gently sway the knees in and out, loosening up through the pelvis. Nice. Great, now when you're ready, we're going to make our way to standing. So maybe you want to roll onto one side, slowly press yourself up. We'll bring ourselves right up to standing. A little bit of our bed head. <laughs> Always fun when we lie down on the floor and then make our way up to standing. Nice job. Let's go ahead. We did so much shoulder work, so we're going to give our, um, our shoulders a little bit of a stretch here. So go ahead and take your right arm out cross it over your midline hook your left arm underneath drop that right shoulder give an imaginary friend a little handshake great beautiful go ahead and release that right arm down just shake it off and then let's go ahead and take that left arm across hook it on with the right drop the shoulder giving your deltoid a nice little stretch especially after all the work the deltoid just did today Great, go ahead and release both arms. Let them settle down to the side. And let's just do a couple of shoulder rolls here, up and back. Good. And then let's reverse that direction, down and forward. Good. Kind of loosening up through the shoulders. Beautiful. All right, coming back through center, bring those shoulders back into that neutral space. Inhale, take the right arm up. Left arm slides down the side of the body. Beautiful, pull that right arm back through center. Let it settle at the side of your body. Take the left arm up. Lean over, pull up through the belly. Again, just find that lateral bend without having to force it. Find your range. Beautiful, come back through center. Excellent, take your arms forward. Turn the palms, sweep them back as if you're doing a breaststroke. Interlace the fingers, shoulders pull back and down. Open up the chest.
Fantastic. And release the arms. Nice job. Shake that off. All right, let's go into a quick quad stretch and hamstring stretch, and then we are done for today. Right hand, right foot, balance onto that left. Go ahead and grab that foot. If you need some support with a wall, go ahead near a wall. Just have that support nearby if you need it. Make sure knees are tracking with each other. Make sure you're drawing down through the right knee, opening up that hip. Fantastic. Set that right foot back. Both feet are facing forward here. You're nice and tall. You're going to inhale, sweep the arms up with a long back. Hips kick back. Come forward. Place the hands on top of the thigh with a long back. Press back through the hips. Give that front leg a nice little hamstring stretch. You're always welcome to come down with your hands towards the floor if that feels accessible for you. Try not to lock into that left knee. Excellent. Go ahead and make your way back through center. Nice job. Stand up nice and tall. Last one on the other side. Left foot, left hand. Knees track. Again, energize through that knee. That's just going to open up that quad a little more. Open up the hip. Beautiful. Take that left foot back. Both feet now face forward. Nice and long. Inhale, scoop it up. Kick your hips back. Lengthen down with a long back. Settle your hands on top of the right thigh. Lead with the heart. Nice job. Inhale, come right back through center. Shake that off. Nice job, everyone. All right, let's go ahead and close this off with a nice big inhale and exhale. When you're ready, bend into the knees, sweep the arms up, take the biggest breath you've taken today, press your palms together, meet with your hands at your heart center, and give yourself a round of applause. Because remember, you had two choices today. One was to show up, one was not to, and you showed up. Thank you so much from my heart to yours. I wish you the best day. I hope to see you again soon. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Bye-bye.